I have a 2011 tracker boat similar to the one in this picture. And it's always been garage kept. It's never been in salt water. It's in very good shape. I also have the Tarova trolling motor on the bow just like in this picture. And recently I damaged the motor. Let me tell you how that happened. The Mercury engine starter solenoid had been giving me problems by having to click it several times before it works. One day I was on the other side of the lake and I shut the engine off when it was hot and then the solenoid would never re-engage so I couldn't start the engine. So I raised the engine out of the water, put down the trolling motor and ran the trolling motor for about 10 minutes. Then I stopped, put down the engine and the solenoid worked and it started. Uh, you know, I'm just going to see if, if this battery will carry me about two miles across the lake, a trolling motor battery. So I put the engine back up, turned the engine off, put it back up, and put it on the trolling motor. And across the lake was stuck about 45 minutes. I was running the trolling motor at just maximum speed. This overheated the trolling motor and caused the trolling motor to quit working once we got to the other side of the lake. Disassembly of the trolling motor revealed there was no water inside the motor, but if you look at the far end of this picture, you'll notice that this one brace is sticking out and the other brace is not sticking out, which means it's stuck. So the stuck brace was the problem. A closer view of the brace assembly reveals that there's a sticky substance on this upper brace, and that substance, I suspect, is resin that dripped out of the armature while the motor was running. It's sprayed all around the edges here and it's keeping this brace from maintaining contact with the armature. Close examination of the armature reveals that these winding wires have been overheated. Some of them turn dark in color and there's a coating on the commutator and right next to the commutator where the windings solder to the commutator. This is all covered in a coating. That coating is the same sticky resin. If you notice on the outside edge of the rotor here, there's also sticky resin here. And that's where the, when I shut the motor down, when I stopped, I when I got across the pond, the lake, then uh, this stuff dripped down and ended up hanging there on the outside edge of the rotor. So this rotor is definitely overheated. I cleaned the excess resin off the armature and the commutators of the armature. And then I took the memory cloth and cleaned the com commutators of the armatures. And then I have a, a mega ohm meter in each, each section of the commutator measures, measures out 172 mega ohms, so there's no shorts to ground on any of the segments of the commutators. I measured opposing sides of the commutators with a milli ohm meter, and they all read 54 milli ohms. So there's no shorts, and there's no opens, and there's no shorts to ground on this armature. So the armature is still good. Even though it was overheated, it didn't overheat enough to cause any shorts. Next, I contacted Minkota Tech Support and explained the situation. They weren't familiar with the motor overheating. But when I, when I pressed the topic with them, I said, well, what's the duty cycle or what's the maximum time to run at full power? And he says, well, you shouldn't run it more than 15 minutes at full power. I pointed out that it doesn't say that any place in the manual. So this is what overheated it, extended run at full power. He said he wasn't familiar with that resin-like substance that I found inside, but yet I've seen other YouTube videos. One example, a person left it running, and it did the same thing, and when he showed the pictures, it had the same resin inside there. So that's definitely resin coming out of the armature. This armature has no cooling fan to circulate the air across the armature while it's running. So that's why it overheated. I suspect all the trolling motors do not have a cooling fan on the armature. Whereas every other motor I've ever seen always has a cooling fan forcing air through the armature. I guess the engineers falsely assumed that the water would keep it cool. The water can't cool the air inside the armature and there's no way to circulate the air inside the armature without a fan. So this is a severe engineering problem, which is probably related to all trolling motors. So keep that in mind when you use your trolling motor. If there was a fan on the armature, then the air could pass through these two slots between the two magnets on the case, and that would move air through the case and through the armature and keep the armature cooler. 
But unfortunately, they didn't include a fan on this armature. So the next video, we'll discuss putting this back together.